Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. Today we're gonna to be making these adorable no-sew fabric stars. So I have been seeing these all over the internet and I had a few people ask for a tutorial and they could not be any easier. These are perfect projects to do with your kids because there's no sewing involved, just a little bit of pressing and a lot of fun. Supplies are super simple. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're gonna need. So supplies for this are super easy. You need four pieces of fabric that are four inches by 14 inches. So I've chosen to do two low volume colors and two red colors. You can do four different colors. You can do all the same. It really doesn't matter. You can just pick and choose what you like. And then another handy thing is this Mary Ellen's Best Press. Now you can spray this and best press your fabric before you cut it out. Um, I just already cut mine out, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on this one piece, just so you know how. Um, you can also use another kind of starch, whatever you like, but I like Mary Ellen's Best Press. Another handy thing is going to be a stiletto that can kind of help you push your fabric through. This one is from Modern American Vintage. It is my favorite. And then another handy thing you might find is some tweezers. These are my Tula Pink tweezers and these are kind of handy for grabbing fabric and pulling them as well. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I like to best press my fabric because I think it just makes it crisper. It makes it a little bit easier to fold. So to do that, you just take your best press and you're just gonna spritz it on. And then you're gonna grab your iron and just press your fabric until it's dry and kind of see some steam coming up there and you can best press both sides or just one side. Um, I find that one side is enough, but if you do both, you just again, spritz it on that back side and press it until your fabric is dry. And that's just gonna give our fabric this nice body to it so it's a little bit easier to work with. All right, so you will have two pieces of one color, two pieces of another color. You can also do all four pieces, different colors. Um, it's totally up to you on what you want your star to look like. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take our fabric and fold it in half, wrong sides together. And we're gonna prepare all four pieces this same way. So we're just gonna press and then once that's cool, we can open it back up. Mine's still a little bit warm. And you can use this center line as a guide. So next we're going to take our outside edge and just press it in towards that center. And I like to leave a little bit, I don't put it all the way right towards the center, I leave it just a little bit away. Um, and that's gonna make it easier because we're gonna fold this back in half again. And that'll just give you some room to do that. Again, I'm just gonna take my iron and just press this fabric right to the center of that line. And then I'm going to take the other side and just press it in so it meets in that center. And again, I have a little bit of a space there. Next, we're gonna fold it in half again and just give it one more press. Throw a tailor's clapper on there as well and just let that piece cool. And once it's cool, we can move on. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the other pieces exactly the same way I did this first piece. All right, so here are our four pieces and I've just pressed them all the exact same way and now we're going to assemble our star. Before we do that, we're just gonna take our piece and we're gonna fold it in half, but not quite in half. I leave about an inch and a half maybe tail and I'm just gonna do that to all of them. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want it a little bit longer and you'll see why in just a little bit here. Okay, and then you can press these with your iron if you want. You can also just seam roller them. Okay, and now we want to arrange our pieces. Now if you're using all the same color, this won't matter, but if you have opposite colors, you're gonna want them opposite each other like I have here. So we've got these two opposite and these two opposite. The next thing we wanna do is make sure that our folded edge, so this is my folded edge, is going around clockwise. So I'm gonna turn this piece around. So my folded edge is here, turn this piece, and then this one's right. So I've got folded edge one, two, three, four. And then now we're going to basically put these together towards the center. So how I remember it is the open edge goes into the closed or folded edge of each piece as you go around. So I'm gonna take this open edge and put it into this folded edge. So I'm just gonna set it in there, just like that. That's our first one. Now we're gonna take this open edge 
and put it into this folded edge. So I'm just going to reach in there and pull that through just like that. And now we have our last piece. So we're going to put the open end of this top piece into the folded end of piece number four. And then, then the open end of piece number four is going to go into this folded edge end like that. So you should have all open ends sticking out here on the outside. And then we're just going to carefully pull these so that the pieces come together. And you want them kind of tight. So just wiggle their way down. Now I should have the short pieces on top all the way around and we do. And that's what it should be looking like. Now we're going to take our piece and flip it over so that our long pieces are on top. So we're just going to start going around by taking the top edge piece, leave your short piece down and just folding it down. And whichever piece we started with, so I'm starting with my top piece, you're just going to grab the next one that will cross over it. So I just did here. This is be the next one to cross over. And then here. So we're working counterclockwise. Okay, so we have this. This last piece needs to get tucked underneath this. So we're going to do that now. And I just use my finger and grab it, but you could always use your tweezers to help pull that through. And just get it all nice and tight. This is basically what we should be having now. All right, and now we're gonna start um, making our star points and it doesn't really matter which one you start with. I'm gonna start with this one. So we're going to take this and we're going to pull it at a diagonal. So you have this diagonal line right here to your left and just kind of give that a finger press and holding it, you're going to flip the whole star upside down. I guess it's not really a star yet, is it? All right, so we have this and I just kind of like to finger press that. Next, we're going to pull it down towards us so that we create this point right here. So you've got a point and a tail. And then we're gonna fold that in half to the left to make our star tip. And I'm just gonna kind of roll it a little bit just to give it some, you can also finger press it. Anyways, there's your star point. Now this tail just needs to get tucked down underneath here. And I'm gonna turn it a little bit so I can reach it. Here's where I feel like tweezers kind of come in handy because you can grab that tail and just pull it through and just tighten everything. Now grab a pair of scissors, I forgot to mention these. Um, and you can do one of two things. You can, I just pull it through a little bit and then chop it off like that. And then when you pull your star tip back up, that tail just gets hidden in there. You could also cut it before you tuck it in. Totally up to you. All right, so here's our first star point. Now we can just move on to this one. So this one, we're going to fold away from us because we want our star points going opposite. And this is a side. So that one's just gonna go up. And then we're gonna flip our star over. You always want to be ending on the side where you have a thing to tuck in. Okay, and then we're going to fold it down back towards the star to make our little tip and then fold it in. All right, now this fabric, as you can see, is a little bit shorter than our red, so I'm not even gonna trim it. I'm just gonna tuck it in there. And you can use your fingers or you can use, the last one's really the hardest. This one you can kind of have some wiggle room with that other piece. Pull it tight. So we've got two done. We need to do our next one. Now you don't want to start folding here because this is where our tuck in is. So we just want to fold our star over. We want to fold away from the other star point and then fold it over, pull it down just like that, fold it in half and then tuck it in. And I think after doing a few of these, I actually like to just Tuck, uh, clip off my tail after I've tucked it in. I just feel a little more secure doing it that way. So I just pull on it a little bit, clip it, and then pull it back up. So let's go ahead and start this one. Now our tuck-in is on this side, so we're gonna start on the side without the tuck-in, if that makes sense. So again, pull away from the center, flip it over, pull it down, like so, and flip it over in half. And this one isn't really sticking out, so I'm gonna not even cut that one. 
I'm just going to tuck it in. Okay, we're making some good progress. And that's pretty much it. It's totally simple. And we're just going to do the same exact thing to all of our star points working our way around the star. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit there and watch me do each one, but you're just going to repeat that same technique on each of your star points. Alrighty. And there we go. We've got a cute little star. Optional is a little bit of, this is just embroidery floss actually, or a fill embroidery floss. And I am just going to thread it through and you can just, I pick opposite sides. I'm gonna go through this white and this white, or if you're using red, you could go through the red and red. So I'm just gonna go in through one side and out through the other. You could also do it off of a star point if you want, but I don't like putting that tension on the star point, so uh, you can just do whatever you prefer. And then I'm just going to tie this in a knot. Cut off the extra. All right, and then one last thing that this is totally optional, uh, but I did want to share it with you is you can glue your ornaments together if you're going, you know, if you're worried they're coming apart or if they're a little bit loose feeling. So this is just called glue based it, and I like to use this. You could also use fabric adhesive. This one's actually a temporary basting glue, but I find that if you don't mess with it, it actually holds pretty well, and these aren't getting washed. When you wash your quilt, this will come out of the basting, but if you don't wash it, it'll just stay in there. And so what I would do is just take the lid off. You can just lift up your piece right here, and then I just put just a little bit of glue in there. Not a lot, or you'll see it come out this fold. Just press it. I would do that underneath all of these, flip it over, and then do all of these. And then when you're done, you can press it with an iron, and that heat will just um, set the glue, and then your ornament will stay together a little bit better. So if it's on your tree or getting tossed in a box for storage, um, these won't come apart on you. So just a little extra tip uh, if you would like to, but it's totally optional. All right, guys, that's it for this super fun and easy video. Hopefully you guys have fun making some of these to decorate your home this season. Like I said, they're totally beginner and kid friendly as well. So lots of fun for the whole family. And of course I did mine in red and white. So they matched my ornament tree that I already had in my sewing room. And I think they were just such a fun addition. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this fun little project. If you did, make sure to tag me when you post them on social media so I can see what you made and what kind of color combos you did because you can have so much fun with these. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.